Hey. You're on duty, too? Yeah. The Oak Haven's fire brought Mrs. Staff in. Mrs. Dillon. Oh. Hi, the EMTs brought me up to date on your burns. How are you feeling? Oh, better now. Okay, she's got second-degree burns on the front of her legs. We'll refresh the bandages, get you something for the pain. We might need to get you a tetanus shot. No! No needles, this... please. <laughs> no, no needles. It's... Please, whatever you do, okay, don't, it's just don't a do precaution, anything about Mrs. needles. Dillon. I cannot do needles. Uh, are you related to Amanda Dillon? Do you know my baby girl? We, we do. And do you know her husband, mm -hmm. Jake Martin? Yes, yes, he's mm -hmm. a very good doctor. Yeah, he's a Martin. They're good at everything they do. But... I know something that is going to rock the Martin universe all the way to the stars. <laughs> Dixie Martin. Now, you know who she is. You've heard of her. She's not dead. She is as alive as you and I. Really? I've seen her. I talked to her. Well, she's not all there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but, oh, I mean, she's here, breathing. It's just, you know, she's not all. Yeah, OK. You go right ahead and give me the eyes if you want to, but you will see. Dixie's alive. Okay. <laughs> so I will get the uh, pain medication, and I will have a nurse come in and change your bandages. Excuse us. Griffin? Go. Excuse me. One moment. Dr. Forrest, dial one. Poor woman. She's delusional. Maybe she isn't. What she said about Dixie could be true. Well, David performed a miracle, but whatever he did, he completely traumatized Dixie. Okay, can we just not talk about it anymore, all right? Please? Why is she so upset? I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. Kendall, up. Uh... I am not unbalanced anymore. Glad to hear it. I mean, when I tried to shoot you, it wasn't me. I mean, it was me, but it, 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 it was the grief. You know, losing Stuart the way that I did so suddenly, I, I felt the same way when Zach died. Well, yeah, but you didn't try to kill somebody. Well, actually, I did. David Award. Well, I'm sure there are quite a few people in this town who wished you'd succeeded. No, Dixie! Dixie! Don't! Dixie, wait! Well... Life is getting complicated, Dixie. Yeah. Your daughter has started asking questions. The tough kind, you know, like, why did my mother die? Hell, I haven't got an answer for that. Not one that would make sense to her, anyway. She's too smart. <laughs> She's growing up so fast. Changing every day. Yeah, everything's changing. I'm going away tonight, Dixie. On vacation with Kara. My wife. And I don't know why that should make me feel guilty, but it does. Before I do, I just want you to know you're my best. I'm my brightest. I'll never forget you. Never. Where the hell is Greenlee Hayward? You know what? Don't bother calling me back because I'm gonna come and find you in person. What the hell are you doing? Hey, oh! Tell me what the hell you did with Greenlee, you son of a bitch, before I kill you. I didn't think I could ever love anyone after you. What we had. How often does that happen? But Ryan was there, too. He understood. Remember, he lost someone, too. He knew how to take care of you. I just want you to be happy, Granny. That's all I ever wanted. And if...
if it can't be with me in Bhutan, then why not right here in Pine Valley with Ryan? You'd like her, Dixie. Kara. I know you would. She's somebody I can... Somebody I can love. Somebody I can be happy with. But before I try... I'd really, really appreciate it if I could have your blessing. So, if you can, um... Send me a sign. You know, anything. It doesn't have to... A little twinkle, maybe. You know? shooting star, you know. Comet in the backyard. Nothing major, nothing over the top, just something, anything. Let's me know you understand. Dixie's obituary was in the safe. And Zach's. That's why I have to find out the truth. So Dixie and Zach could be alive. I just got out of the hospital. I'm barely able to walk a flight of stairs, let alone kidnap Greenlee. You can rain down hell with a dozen knife wounds and both hands tied behind your back, so start talking, or I will send you downstairs to Hartwood. Do you understand me? All right, you know something? I came here to discuss something with you. Why don't I come back later when you could be more civil? You are not going anywhere. 